just one? I think you missed some. Tyler's gonna be excited because he can definitely cut the grass this evening. <laughs> He loves to cut the grass. Well, with the riding mower, not the push one, but with the riding, he loves it. <laughs> Haircuts are happening today too, Manny. See a butterfly? Yeah. Sissy's looking for leaves for an art project she's doing. Welcome to Friday, y'all. We were waiting on Titus to get home. He did an all-night cattle catching stakeout. <laughs> For real, like all night. Most of you know we've been catching some cows up here behind a the school. They got out. We got most of them. Aaron told me that he pretty much knows where this one is now. So we're gonna run over there and see what we can do tonight. somewhere and somebody to call her in the police to give us word where she's at but uh that hadn't happened so anyway i took a little nap in my truck fixing to feed my horse here we'll give him some feed this morning go up there at the arena and get him some water we're gonna take off after her here in just a little while and start tracking her hopefully we can find her Jeff backing her in here and we're fixing the loader. I just got her tied up right there so she can't get out and get anybody hurt over here. The walls had to stop. There's a main road over here. We're just glad we were able to get her off the road. Nobody got hurt and she didn't get hurt. All right, we got her in the trailer here. This is Oscar right here. What do you do at the arena, bro? Assistant director. Assistant director, okay. This thing's been out for two weeks and this is Jeff. Brother, tell them what you do over there. I run the arena, we run all the events, the livestock shows. Okay. Everything else goes over. Yes, Every sir. Right. once in a while we get into some cow catching. There you go. <laughs> this is a good team right here with Jeff and Oscar. All right, everybody, we're going to haul this one back where she belongs. Had the police in here to help us get back in the road and everything. So this thing was a long ways up through here, everybody. What we do is get the animals off the road so nobody gets hurt and so the animal don't get hurt like this thing has traveled i mean traveled uh, up a main road through all these back roads but i'm going to show you here in just a minute so here's goats on the roof right here and i was probably a mile maybe a mile back up that way somewhere in that neighborhood it was a good long ride and you can see this is a main road see this this is where this this uh little calf traveled right here came all the way up through here and shot back across over here so i'm just glad we was able to get her off the road and get her back where she belongs and nobody got hurt went back over here at the arena here they having a big event up here this weekend there's a lot of people coming in so we're just glad we was able to get this kind of situated before everybody got over here and that way we was out of the way but we're fixing to unload her right here and then the man that owns her will come and pick her up sometime after a while. Between F and D right there, we're going to open the stall. Okay. And then we'll just push her in there. Yes, sir. Lock it off and push her in the stall. Yes, sir. Right. Come get in okay. Sounds like a plan. Sure will. All right. She wanted to be in the movies, everybody. That's what Jeff said. Coming at you, Oscar. That's the last one for this little journey right here. We've got some more to catch next week, but it's always exciting. You want to cut your hair out here? Yeah. Okay. You hear those frogs and crickets? Yeah. That means it's warm outside. Tell me, do you hear those tonight? They're making that wicked noise. Okay, you're going to face this way, Manny, towards the chickens. Okay. Follow. Hang on, this goes over your arms. Okay. Yeah, there you go. There you go. This is fun, right? Yeah, very fun. Very fun.
that a duck? Yeah, baby duck. He He's getting just, big, huh? Yeah, very strong and so heavy. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's a few hours later now. We're about to cook supper. We went to town real quick because it is too pretty to cook inside. We're cooking outside. Did we get the charcoal? Oh yeah, Tyler's already got that going. Okay, I'm getting everything out of the bags here. We're gonna make some chicken, grilled chicken tenders. Titus wanted pork chops because he wasn't here for supper last night, so he didn't get any of the pork chops last night. So he is, I think, getting a little more. I think I hear him cranking it up now. I knew it. I knew that Tyler would be wanting to cut some grass this evening. <laughs> So we're making grilled pork chops, grilled chicken tenders, a new corn salad recipe. We got these rolls and we also got some garlic bread that we're gonna put on the grill. We need to go get this corn ready real quick. This corn salad is gonna be really good, y'all. We're just gonna put this corn on the grill for like five minutes, just enough to mostly just get some grill marks on it. And then we'll let it cool down before we add it to the corn salad. Get them about right there, everybody, when you want to do this deal. This is somebody who can make a pork chop smell like a steak. That's all and what kind of pork chop you get. You gotta have a good pork chop. And you just wanna kinda keep that like this so it gets plenty of smoke still. Okay y'all, for the corn salad, we're gonna go ahead and mix everything else up in here. The corn is still on the grill and I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit before we add it in. So the first thing we're putting in is two peppers. We took the seeds out, chopped them up. I mean like one or two little seeds might be stray in there, but that's okay. These aren't very hot anyway. Now we're gonna put one cup of sour cream and one cup of mayonnaise. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix that together. Now we've got two ounces of softened cream cheese. I put it in the microwave to soften it a little bit. And it also splattered in my microwave. That was cream. All right, we're putting in a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of paprika, two teaspoons of cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. Okay, we'll mix all of this together. And I need to shred some pepper jack cheese. I have some already shredded sharp cheddar, but I need to shred up some pepper jack real quick. We're putting a cup of shredded cheddar and a cup of shredded pepper jack and some of these real bacon bits, or you could cook up some bacon. It's not um, like, you know, the crunchy bacon bits. It's actual real pieces of bacon. We need half a cup of those. And here's a cup of shredded cheddar. And I'll shred up that pepper jack real quick and that's it besides the corn. Oh, and just a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, that's it. And y'all, we did a little taste test. It is great. You can add a little Parmesan cheese too. I forgot about that part, but um, it's great without it. So we're gonna skip it this time, but it's really good. Snap clean or clap clean? Clap, clap. Clap, okay. One, two, three.